guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so yesterday was the premiere of playboy the series i've done a couple of videos concerning like playboy and how like it had already started getting like a lot of heat even before like it premiered because people were saying that it was focused more on the sexual content other than like telling a story and people didn't feel like it had a place in the BL world or BL industry. Now, the show did premiere yesterday. I was like curious to see what it had or what it entailed. And yeah, was I happy, impressed? Not really, to be honest. I wasn't because. I would like, like, for my show to actually start with a bang. Like, I would like to at least in the first five minutes to actually know, like, how or who the story will be centered on. And with this, like, the story is centered about a guy who has a twin brother and then he goes missing and the twin brother comes back to replace him or to take up his identity and find out what actually happened to his brother. Now, it was more of us being introduced to the characters other than being introduced to the main character first. Like, I don't know if you guys really understand me. Because I would have liked to be introduced to the main character first. And, like, the world he's living in. And then he disappears. And then for it actually to now focus on these other characters. But I guess they did introduce us to other characters first before, like, the brother. Like, I don't know, yes, I know, like, they wanted to capture, like, the audience attention first because that's what's important. But with me, I was, like, there was a lot of breaks for me. Like, I had to pause through it, like, a lot. And for a moment, there was actually checking the time and seeing if, like, it would end any time. Because it didn't do it for me. Like, I love that they were representing, like, everyone. And then I don't understand how, like, all these people, like, the the stripper guy the model and the pizza guy i just didn't understand how all these people from all these different walks of life are actually connected like how random was it extremely extremely random i would have expected maybe if they would have met and then form the friendship, but for them to actually know each other beforehand, to be actually even drinking buddies, like it's weird. It's just extremely weird. Now, I like like what they're trying to say. Or what they're trying to do. Now. I am going to be like patient enough to give it. 
a second watch. But other than a second watch, I'm not promising anything more. Like, the whole synopsis is great. But how they put together the first episode, like, I do believe, like, they had so much pressure. Like, they didn't want to, like, trigger so many people. They didn't want to lose people in the first episode. Like, they didn't want to... Like, make people talk shit about the show in the first episode. But they actually did mess it up. They ended up messing it up. Like, even the part whereby it's his birthday and a stripper is brought. And then he decides to draw. But we actually don't even see the drawing at least they could have shown us even like how crazy how half done like how like that process like actually like made it out like we could have seen if his capabilities when he's at that zone when he's drawing like how good, how detailed he is. But they didn't show us that. Instead, they show us him jacking off to another picture, I think, of the guy who is missing. Not the one he was drawing. So, yeah. I'm hoping, like, after this first episode, they have a whole week. They can go back to the drawing board and do some, like, final touches. Like, I have no problem with the storyline. I just have a problem with how it was put together and how it came out, how the final product came out. So, yeah, for this... Yesterday's episode, I'm actually going to give it a 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10. And that's just me being, like, generous and accepting, like, they did work hard. The actors tried their best. And the storyline is actually a very good storyline. So it will be a 5 out of 10 for me. And that is what I don't like. Like I get too excited about these shows. And they actually. Mostly. Sometimes disappoint me. And I had very very high hopes. About this show. Extremely high hopes. Because I felt like. We actually needed it. And we didn't need like the high school or the university trope anymore we don't need that and we have been watching like a lot of office bills and i feel like we also didn't need that again at the end of this year we actually needed something fresh and this was going to be that something fresh and the first episode wasn't it so yeah l let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole like first episode so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video comment and let me know like what you rate the first episode out of 10 and why you rate it that like number yeah and let's just have an open discussion in the comment section so bye guys